Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to do an Elmo hand puppet today. Hi guys. So this is where you're going to turn on your subtitles for the video. And if you want to join my membership, you can get free access to all my PDFs. And I also like to show you just a few examples of what I sell in my merch shop. I appreciate your support and back to the video. Um, it is going to be a little smaller in the front. It changed the pattern a little bit and his nose is going to be smaller. So. Other than that, let's jump right into this. So I am using a 4.5 millimeter hook today with yarn that we're, we're building this in amigurumi, obviously, uh, yarn that calls for a five millimeter. I think it's five. It's either a five or a 5.5. This is a craft smart tomato red. So tomato is the color and the color I used for the nose is a Craft Smart Curry. That's the color. And these two um, call for, I don't have the tag, but these two call for a uh, 5 or a 5.5, but because it's amigurumi and it's a bit of a tighter weave, we're going down to a 4.5. So let's just jump right into this. We're going to make the two halves of the jaw first and then we sew those two parts together. So these two halves are going to be exactly the same. So we're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. You will need a stitch marker because there's no slip stitching or chaining in this. Let me get a yellow one. So your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. Stitch marker goes on the first stitch, then you can put stitch number two in there and two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. This will bring it up to 18. I'm going to make sure my magic ring is closed and I'm going to weave in my tail. So that's one single crochet. And then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat all the way around. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 24 stitches. That's number one, two, and then your next stitch gets an increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 30 stitches. That's number one. Three single crochets, and then your next stitch gets the increase of so two single crochets in the same space. And repeat.
Your last increase round is going to be four single crochets in an increase. And this will bring it up to 36 stitches. That's number one. That's four single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. So this is what you should have. For the next eight rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 36 stitches and I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have at this point. And this is where we're going to fasten off and we're going to make another piece exactly the same. This needs a sewing tail because the other one we're not even going to fasten off of. We're going to stay attached. So this one needs a sewing tail to sew the two ends together. That is the top part. We just got to make the, or vice versa. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter. Whatever's top, whatever top and bottom. So go ahead and make your second piece. I will meet you right back here. So, and my second one done. I'm not fastening off though, I gotta stay attached. So we have to sew, let's put this over on the side. We have to sew these two together. Right in here. So it doesn't really matter where your fasten off spot is but I always like to have mine on the side for whatever silly reason it's just what I do so this is just a whip stitch so you just have to make sure that you're whip stitching the same stitches together So on your last stitch, make a knot. And then you can kind of just weave in and out this way. But remember, hands are going to be in this. So you're going to have to weave. No if ands, or buts about it. You don't want people feeling this. Just weave in two different directions just so it doesn't come up undone. Just like that. And now I gotta clean up the coffee that I just spilt all over the place. I'm a wild sower. So. Now that we're sewn together, all I want you to do is one single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
So I'm all the way back around and I have 40 stitches. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 32 stitches. So it's number one. That is three single crochets. And I'm going to use my front loops for this. So I'm going to go into my first front loop and I'm going to pop around into my second front loop. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to finish the stitch. But you can do whatever your little heart desires. Three single crochet decrease all the way around. So, you should have 32 stitches. For the next 14 rows, I want you to put one single crochet in each of these 32 stitches. I am yarning over for my first row, or yarning under for my first row, because um, I am a loose crocheter, and when I yarn under, which means I come around and grab it like this, I actually crochet tighter. So. just for this first row and then the rest of it I'll do uh, I'll yarn over so I generally only do it when I want a tighter weave and because we're just kind of trying to bring this mouth in a little bit I just thought I would yarn under instead of over <laughs> in case you're wondering what I'm doing So this is my 14 rows. This is what it should look like. So we can fasten off. to weave this in and then we can get on to the making the eyes so just to make it look better I go into the next stitch pull that over I'm gonna go through the back loop of that this last stitch not the fast enough spot the back loop of the last stitch I was doing the front loop but the back loop I'm already kind of back here so makes more sense Let's do the inside of the mouth, that way we can pull it right back like this to sew it all on. So we'll do that next. So I'll get your black. So we're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. So your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. That's your first stitch. Put number two in that same space. Black is so hard for me to see. <laughs> So this will give you 12 stitches. Pull your middle close so you can weave that in. If you want. It's not 
It was more of a necessity with the with the puppet then than with this part, but might as well get used to doing it. You may have to do it. We're gonna do one single crochet and an increase. So that's my one single crochet. So my next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. This will give you 18 stitches when you're done. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. This will take you up to 24 stitches. That's number one. That's number two. And then the next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 30 stitches. Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase. Let's bring up to 36 stitches. That's four single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. Your last round is going to be five single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 42 stitches, and that's as far as we are going. That's number one. That's five single crochets, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. So, that is it for our increases. Your last round is just going to be one single crochet in each stitch around. So, this is what you should have. You can fasten off. So you're going to need a sewing tail. So the safety eyes that I use look like they're probably 12 millimeter. I'm gonna say because these are 14 and they're pretty pretty close. So I'm gonna say the size of eyeball I used along with my white ball is a 12 millimeter. So we're still using our 4.5. 
We're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochets. Next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. Next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. For the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. We'll come back and start to decrease. So that's my two rows, so that's what it should look like at this point. We're going to do one single crochet decrease, and then we'll put some stuffing in here and put our safety eye in. So that's one single crochet, and then you can just do a regular decrease, nothing fancy. Alright, so you can fasten off. the sewing tail. We're going to cinch the rest of this shut. So your safety eye, I didn't put mine right into the magic ring. I went down below it and put mine into that hole. So go in the front loop and then out the front loop. You're going to do this all the way around. In the front loop, out the front loop. So once you're all the way around, Pull your eyeball closed, pop across, go through the loopy loop. So this part is visible. We sew it on. We sew it on from under here. So this part will be visible at the back. So you gotta make sure it looks somewhat decent. So we sew it on like that. So I like to just pop down and out where I'm going to be sewing. So I'll just pull this out. So I was trying to make sure there was a whole lot of nice stuffing in there so it didn't get all wrinkly at the back or anything. So that's how we're going to sew it on. So go ahead and make your second one. I'll put my pattern on the screen and I'll meet you right back here.
So my eyeballs turned out to be two completely different sizes. <laughs> I stuffed this more than I stuffed this one and I didn't check and I cinched it all up and stuff. I don't care. I think it's funny. He's going to have two different size eyeballs. <laughs> anyway, oh, I haven't moved my thing yet. So I'm going to move my thing down here because that's where I'm going to start sewing. So I just have to determine. I think I'm going to put... I don't know. Maybe one eyeball off to the side. <laughs> since they're two different sizes. Anyway, you can do the choice, but that's where it kind of goes is right. Right here is where we started doing our 14 rows. So literally right on the edge of the thing is where they go. Alrighty, so my two different size eyes are sewn on. Now he looks like Elmo. Uh, so last but not least, this nose, which we're going to do in a four millimeter because the last one I did, I feel it's too big. I just feel it's too big. So we're gonna do this one in a four millimeter. This is my Craft Smart Curry, and that's the color that I used for the nose. So we start this with a slip knot, and we're going to chain nine. So we're going to do seven single crochets, starting in the first stitch. This is my seventh stitch. Uh, if you're using my PDF that I um, supply on my channel, if you join my membership um, you for $2.99 or $4.99, depending on how much you want to support my channel, you can get access to all my PDFs. So if you're using the PDF, this last stitch here, you're going to see this written in brackets, and that means the same space. So I want you to put five single crochets all in the same space. And you're going to notice that it's going to curve this way, and we're going to follow that curve. So pull your slip knot, and we're going to keep following this curve around. We're going to work in the round. So now we're working on the other side of that chain. So this is my slip knot. You gotta make sure you're getting into this stitch right next to the slip knot. And we're gonna do six single crochets. I'm just weaving in this tail at the back. This is my sixth single crochet. And then in this last stitch, I'm going to put four single crochets all in that same space. So, we're going to use a stitch marker for our next round because I want you to understand where your stitches are. This here is our first stitch. We just kind of we just kind of crocheted on top of the first stitch because it's elongated. So in this first stitch, let me show you, where's my thingy? This here, that we just crocheted over a little bit, that is our first stitch. So I want you to put a half double crochet in there. So I want you to mark that. 
just so you can keep up with what we're doing. I'm going to cut this straggler off at the back because I weaved it in. We're going to do one half double increase all the way around. So that's our first half double. So the next stitch gets the increase of two half doubles in the same space. And again, one half double, two half double. All the way around. So this is what you should have. This is what it should look like. For the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in what should be 33 stitches. I want this round to be fairly tight, so I'm, instead of yarning over, I'm yarning under. It's a different kind of a stitch. It's more boxy. It's tighter. Like I do it tighter. So that's my two rows of my um, 33 stitches that I did Instead of um, yarning over, I yarn under, and that's the look you get. It's more boxier stitch, and it's more rigid and solid because I do mine actually pretty tight. So the next round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. I'm yarning over in this round. That's one single crochet. And then my decreases are in the front loops only to be invisible. And this will bring you down to 24 stitches. So this is what you should have. It looks like a little boat. And you can see the difference between my stitches now. I yarned over in this round and I yarned under in this round. And I actually prefer these stitches better. But So we're going to do the same thing in the next round. We're going to do one single crochet decrease. We're going to have an extra stitch though at the end of it. This will be our last round we can fasten off and it'll bring you down to 15 stitches so that's one single crochet and then again your decrease whichever decrease you choose to do So I have an extra stitch and then we can fasten off. We need a sewing tail and a cinching tail. So we're going to cinch this closed. We're going to go in the front loop and out the next front loop. So this completely changes the shape. Well, not completely changes the shape, but... but makes it more of a kidney bean shape. And 
and that looks much better so compared to the other one that I did it's much smaller looks better So it still, still turns a little bit, but it's not going to come off. And there we have it. Our Elmo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, my hands are tight in here because, you know, I kind of built them small for kids. But, um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.